good day everybody today we're going to review um, practical test for provincial achievement test uh, so we have part A and part B so part A is a multiple choice it has uh, 22 questions each question worth two marks so 44 marks for part A and um, Question one, when you roll a six-sided cube, number it one to six, the probability of rolling a two is one over six. And this is an example of, um, so correct answer is B, because it's a theoretical probability. We know that the cube has six, side, six sides, and to get one of the sides, it will be one out of six. And uh, we, we don't conduct any experiment here, so it's not experimental probability. Experimental probability is the results that are coming out from an experiment. Uh, and it's not assumption, and it's not subjective uh, reasoning. So uh, we don't reason here, so we know for sure the theoretical probability of rolling one of the sides of the cube is 1 over 6. To get one of the results, one of the sides. Question number two: An image rotated around its center point appears unchanged after 180 degrees and 360 degrees turns. This is an example of. So it's not line of symmetry, right? We don't divide here anything in, into two halves or more halves, or more parts. Uh, so it's not tessellation, of course, and it's not vertex, so it's a rotation symmetry, right? So we rotate an object around point, a certain point, and after, after we rotate it 180 degrees, it, we get same, um, same, same alignment, and after we rotate it 360 degrees, we get the same same position right so it's a rotation symmetry so correct answer will be here we go b okay let's move forward uh you survey people as they leave a blue bomber game and ask them to identify their favorite sport the potential problems or bias in a data is caused by okay so uh, how do you choose your favorite sport uh, mo for most people it will be cultural thing right uh, so d in different countries they have their favorite majority of people pr prefer um, s certain sports like in canada it will be hockey in europe will be soccer uh, right and so on like in uh, United States probably will be basketball or American football and so on so correct answer will be cultural uh, insensitivity uh, question number four question number four so we're moving to question number four Given the following pattern of shapes, choose the mathematical expression showing the change for each iteration of B is the number of boxes in the previous iteration. Okay, so let's figure out the pattern. So we have three boxes here, we have five boxes here, or it will be three plus two. Right, so we have our three boxes from previous example from and we add two more. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, which is uh, five plus two, right? From previous example or our 5 equals to 3 plus 2 so it will be 3 plus 2 plus 2 right so every time so <coughs> so next duration will we what we do we add two more boxes right so 
given that b is the number of boxes in the previous iteration so next iteration we add two more so correct answer is b now we're going to move to the next page so next question uh, next question so we, we just need to add uh, fractions right so let's choose uh, blue color try different colors so three fourth plus one over two so common denominator will be uh, four three over four plus two over four five over four that's um, five over four or One, one over four. Um, right, so we have two of these answers, right? Like so, A and B, <laughs> so they're both correct. So, and we see that uh, answer D have both of these answers. So, correct answer will be D. Uh, question number six: Your income i is compared to the number of hours you work the variable i would so your income depends on how many hours you work so in this case i would be the dependent variable right because more hours you work more income you get so i depends on how many hours you work so it's a dependable variable given the base of the following power negative uh, 3 to the power of 4 so that's a little bit tricky question because what's the base what what we're gonna do with uh, negative sign so in the right world if uh, <laughs> in the correct world <laughs> perfect world it would be easy to identify like but we should be very careful here because um, if uh, we want to um, put negative 3 into the exponent of 4 to the power of 4 or exponent of 4 we would put brackets it would be this way right and then base is would be negative 3 but because we don't have those brackets right we don't have those brackets uh, negative sign is outside right? so it's similar same as this one so the base will be just 3 okay next question question oops question 8 an inscribed angle has a measurement of 75 degrees. A central angle shares the same endpoints. What's the measurement of the central angle? So let's try to draw a circle. Right. This would be your central angle. And this will be your inscribed angle. So this part is 75 degrees, right? 75 degrees. And by the way, if any any of you know how to get rid of this cross, at the, uh, right? Uh, please uh, add the comment below. So it's really annoying, and I still didn't find the answer how to get rid of this cross. Okay, so what do we know about angles? So if uh, th that uh, central angle, central angle that this is the central angle, central angle and inscribed angle share the same arc, same arc, this one, it means that inscribed angle is a half of central angle or central angle is a twice as inscribed angle. Uh, so the correct answer in this case will be 150. 
yeah I draw it a little bit uh, where it should be wider of course um, but uh, we're gonna leave it like this uh, question number nine when simplified what's the expo exponential form of the following expression uh, 3 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 6 so what do we know um, about the um, power rules or rules of exponents so if we have same base if we multiply two numbers that have uh, same base right times a to the power of n so it's the same as a to the power of m plus n so in this case we have three numbers so but the rule remains the same doesn't matter how many numbers you multiply as long as the base is the same so we're gonna add powers exponents so uh, 3 to the power of 4 times uh, 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 6 so it's the same as 3 to the power of 4 plus 5 plus 6 which is equal to 3 to the 15 so the correct answer is A So let's continue here. All right. Um, question ten. If shapes of uh, shapes M O P N and S Q R T are similar, which proportion is true? Okay. Let's uh, check check it out. Uh, so if um, those uh, shapes are um, propor uh, proportional. So it means that similar si uh, sides that correspond to each other, we're going to build proportion out of them. So first question, M O over R over R T. Okay, so if we rotate this shape, right, kind of on a line, right. So this angle should be here would be right it corresponds to this angle and this corresponds to oops this angle i think i should draw much more nicer picture okay so this will, will correspond to this this Respond to this. This will correspond to this, and this to this. Okay. So M O over R T is not correct, right? They're not those are opposite, different sides. M O to R T is incorrect. So those are incorrect answer we can cross them right away n p n p n q s again it's not correct because q s corresponds to m o right so this is wrong m n 2 s t okay that's right and m the uh, m o is over sq so this seems to be correct this proportion is correct so mn relates to st same as mo relates to sq right so let's move, move forward a box of oranges cost two dollars twenty five cents which equation would represent the total cost c of any number of n of boxes of oranges so we know if we buy one box it will be 225 right 
225 if we buy two boxes it will be 225 plus 225 if we buy three boxes it will be 225 plus 225 plus 225 if we buy n boxes we just gonna keep adding right so if we buy n, n boxes we just add 225 $2.25 and times or we replace um, addition of multiplication it will be 225 times n so this is our answer and this will be C okay. an expression representing the arrangement of tiles is okay so this um, shaded tile, uh, tiles I usually have negative sign uh, this is bracket right so we have um, negative 3x square plus x right so this uh, square tiles x square x square x square negative negative, negative. this is x positive this is negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So plus x minus 4. Let's see for this if we have this answer here. Negative 3x plus x. So here we go. Well, that's it for today. And we will continue tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And I'm waiting for your comments. Thank you. Bye-bye.